Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's pack with me video. One of my favorite videos, one of your guys' favorite videos. And I am so excited to take you along in my packing journey because we know the journey is different every single time, but I'm pretty confident about this one. So I have been doing a great job of like setting things aside, way more organized than I was during my last packing with me video and I will leave those in the description down below but very excited to get started today I need to get all of my items in packing cubes today so today is Saturday April 28th we are leaving to Walt Disney World on May 3rd do some calculations there and then we are heading to the Disney Wish on May 5th so we have two days in Walt Disney World and then we'll head on the Disney Wish I am so excited I am going with my mom and I am so pumped that we're able to do this together so let's get packing yeah Okay, so for right now, I'm just going to get everything organized and then we will go all through it together. I need to, I know my dinner outfits and then I just need to determine my travel outfit and then my outfits for Thursday morning. I have my Thursday night outfit and then I'm pretty sure I have everything for the cruise, but we're just gonna go through everything one more time. We're gonna do that now and then I'll jump in and show you everything that I'm bringing. I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you Put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving Pretty sure I have everything out and I think I have too many pants shorts shorts um so our plan is we have two days in Walt Disney World and then we will be on the cruise Friday to Monday and then we will be spending so Monday Tuesday Wednesday morning uh, we'll be also still in Florida. We're just gonna go visit my grandparents. My dad is gonna meet us down there And so I need like a couple of like extra outfits for those days, too but Overall, I feel like pretty solid in what I have pulled so we're gonna just go through the clothing items First, I don't have like any of my extras out yet um, I really needed to just get these clothes off of the ground. So honestly, I need to record a video and I can't have this in my background. So that's why we're doing that today. But it's good to get going and then I'm not gonna feel behind. So I am happy with myself and how far I am right now. Um, okay, so I'm gonna flip you around and show you what we got so far. Okay, so these are my piles. So I have 
my cruise line jacket that I got last time. I'm super excited to, I wear this all the time. I absolutely love it. Remembering sweatpants this trip. That's very important. Um, and then I have this blue like athletic dress. I'm not sure what I'm going or when I'm going to wear that, but honestly it is the cutest thing, especially with my Donald's fanny pack from Sony Clover. So absolutely, if anything, I'll just get a pick. And so then I have my shorts. So I just have black skorts. Um, these shorts are from Ari and they are amazing. I will link Oops, sorry, there we go. Um, these shorts are from Ari, and I will link them down below. I have them in three colors. They're like jean shorts, but they are way more comfortable than jean shorts. They have like an elastic waistband up here, and so absolutely love those. I don't think I could ever go back to wearing regular jean shorts. Then I have just regular pairs of shorts, so I just have some like comfy shorts, uh, black, gray, and then another black skirt. Then I have all of my biker shorts and the top one is like a tank. I am not sure if I'm gonna bring all of those. those there's some leggings in there too. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, and then my t-shirt. So I have three cruise line focused shirts, technically four. My mom and I have three matching tees. Very excited about that. And then we're actually going to a Guardians of the Galaxy event Thursday night in Epcot. So I have my Guardians of the Galaxy shirt. I'm thinking of just wearing black biker shorts or my jean shorts with that. I haven't totally decided. But I do also have two tank tops that I'm going to bring just in case. We're going to go to Springs Thursday morning. And so if it is really warm, then I want to make sure that I have something other than a t-shirt to wear. I have pajamas. If you watched my last packing video, you know that we almost went on vacation without pajamas. I don't know about you all, but I wear the same pajamas every night. Okay, for like a week. And then I wash them. I know some people are like, oh my gosh, that's so gross. I need different pajamas every single night. No. No. I don't got time to do that type of laundry. I probably have that many pajamas to be able to wear them that many times, but that's okay. So we have these cute little Minnie Mouse and Mickey uh, icon pajamas. I believe my mom got uh, these for us from Costco. I think she got those from Costco. Okay, now we have our swimsuit. So I have this really cute, I don't know the technical name of this like white linen, there we go. A uh, white linen button down from Target. As a cover up, I have my like regular Disney cover up. I would probably um, like wear this one, maybe just around the pools on the ship. The linen one I'm thinking of wearing um, to Castaway. I haven't like decided that yet. I have my three swimsuits, so all of my swim stuff will fit in a large pouch, so that will go together. And then back here, I have my dresses. So let me move my tees. I have a black dress for pirate night, and then I have my lily dress that I wore last time on our cruise. I really love this one. It's like Disney inspired, so there's like, different Disney scenes around. And then I have this dress. I don't think I've ever actually worn it. I think it's from Red Dress. I'm not totally sure. It probably is from Red Dress. And then I actually have a event I have to go to Thursday night with my travel agency that I'm a part of. And so I'm either going to wear one of those. I haven't totally decided yet. I'm probably going to end up bringing both. I forgot about my black pirate night dress, so that lily dress won't be brought. Um, so we'll have four dresses, and then I'm gonna bring my jeans, just in case for dinner one night, I just don't feel like wearing a dress, and I just wanna wear some jeans. Um, and I could also just wear those um, shorts as well. Four three night, three night cruise, yeah, four day, three night cruises, you don't have like a fancy night. Um, technically even on your four night and longer when you do have like a formal night, you don't have to dress up formal. Uh, they just like give you that option. 
wearing what you literally can wear whatever you want to dinner um it's a cruise ship they don't really care there are a lot of people that just like clean up a little bit from the day wear like a cuter outfit than just like a t-shirt and biker shorts uh don't get me wrong t-shirt and biker shorts is a very cute outfit to me but you're just gonna want to dress up a little bit more think of like if you business casual going to church um just like going and hanging out with friends and you want to like wear something a little bit nicer but you totally don't have to i think the only thing they ask is like not to wear your swimsuit i think that's the only thing technically but it's really up to you on what you want to wear to dinner whatever you feel comfortable with Okie doke, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put all of these items in packing cubes. So, like I said, we will be in Walt Disney World for a couple of days beforehand. And all of those outfits will go into one packing cube. So you just don't have to even touch any of my stuff for the cruise uh, while we're in Disney. So most of the time I would put like all of my dresses in a packing cube. All of my t-shirts would go in its own packing cube. But this time I'm going to pack by outfit and by location. So I'm going to put all of my Disney World outfits together and that will go in its own packing cube and then we'll have all the rest of the cruise stuff in there. So let's get started.
watch you as you sleep you don't know i'm looking with you everything is complete do you know how much i love you i put your favorite song Alrighty, so I have all of my clothes in our packing cube. So I just did the two large, a medium, and then I love the bell one for like my bras and just undergarments and all the things. And I have a separate one from Target uh, with my socks because the Stony Clover ones I have, they don't have one smaller than, I think it's, this is the smallest size. And my socks need something like, boop half of that size so I just still use the one from Target that works great you could also use like a small pouch or a large pouch for all of that um, all of this hoopla I'm trying I need to look at the weather to see what the weather is gonna be like when I leave and also when we arrive in Florida um, and so sometimes I will just wear my jean jacket on the plane so I don't have to worry about packing it but I'm also thinking that I could wear this on the plane as well so still figuring out that but normally these items I don't put in a packing cube I'll just shove them in a spot that works well in my suitcase. So I'm actually thinking about going downstairs and grabbing it so I can just like put it away and then I don't have to continue to stare at all of this for the next couple of weeks. But I do need to throw my swim stuff in my large pouch that is right there. I just got this one from the sample sale and I love the tie-dye, it is so stinking cute. It is perfect for swim. I do actually have one that says swim on it uh, from the Target collection or collaboration, I should say, uh, last year. But all of my swimsuits are in there and I just don't really feel like taking all of those out. So we are going to do the swim and then I think I'm going to go and get my suitcase. Yeah, probably. Most likely. Okay, so I just threw all of that in there, so it is semi-organized. I'm not going to show you anything else in this room because it's a mess. So, for packing for today, honestly, that's probably all I'm going to do. It's about 4 o'clock right now, and so I need to head over to my parents for dinner, um, and I need to record a video for next week that you've already seen as well. So, I need to get that done, and then... That's probably going to be it for today. So, yeah. Next time you see me, probably won't have makeup on. And probably in a different sweatshirt. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? All right. See you in a minute. Next day. So, still Sunday. I know. Me doing packing so early. Impressed. Impressed. But I was just going to start throwing some stuff in my carry-on suitcase so I wanted to show you guys that and then I think I'm going to do my bathroom stuff today as well so I travel a good amount so I pretty much have everything that I use like on the daily in a travel size it's just a lot easier um, especially because normally that stuff can be a little bit heavier so knowing that everything in that is going to be under three ounces is just easier for me if I need to like switcheroo some stuff to make sure my big suitcase is under 50 pounds then I don't have to worry about any of that so we're probably gonna do that today too I don't know what time it is 2 17 so I have probably about three hours until we have to leave uh, for dinner but yeah I think we can get a good amount done here let's so I am using my uh, carry-on away and so this just has like my park. We're technically not having a park day but I did go ahead and bring this just because it has liquid IV, has some band-aids, um, Advil, Tylenol, different things like that. I have a couple pairs of ears in here. This is all of our fish extender stuff. So I have my gifts in here, my magnets, our extra little pixie dust stuff. 
excuse me ma'am okay while Casey gets some pets I will show you what our <laughs> uh, fish extender gifts and pixie dust that we're giving away it looks like be right back all this up I wanted to show you guys all of the fun gifts that we're bringing for this cruise so we are doing a fish exchange again and these are the little cute gifts we're giving so we have some koozies we receive these like small uno cards and love them uh, some keychains some hand sanitizers we have five groups and then we are just doing some fun little like pixie dust so if somebody has like a fish extender thing outside their door we'll just like drop these in there but it says spread magic not germs um with the date and then i love like connecting with different people so i have like my instagram handle on there my qr code our cabin number which i can show you now since obviously we're back now that you're seeing this video and then i'm also doing a magnet exchange with a couple of the other travel agents on board and so i have those in here ready to go and then this is the first time we're doing ducks so like hiding like ducks around the cruise ship is a thing i guess i never saw one last time we were on the um the wish but maybe it's because we didn't know um, so it just says, oh, what luck, you found a duck, keep her hide, you decide. And then we have like our, from the Gregory family, uh, that's my maiden name. And then it said, and I'm going with my mom, so like, I chose to do that. Um, and it says Disney Wish, and then it just says, please, uh, place in public places only, post a picture on Disney Cruising Ducks, and then that is a QR code to the Facebook group. And then we have our fish extender, and this is actually the so i ordered these from amazon and you actually get two so i made one for jackson and i and then i made one for my mom and i so it just says nikki and nene that's like her nickname that's what my nephews and niece call her and like pretty much everybody and then we have um our disney cruise line logo and then i have our magnet so this magnet i have made all of these um for my shop casey's corner and fingers crossed by the time of this video they are finally up it's been it's been an ordeal you guys but i just made this magnet and i am obsessed with it let's see if it will come on focus there we go i love this and it is also in a sticker so definitely go check that out um and then we have our magnets and i am super excited to give all of these things to some fun cruisers how uh the fish exchange normally works is that you can pick if you want to be like in a family group or just like couples and we picked couples but one of the couples um has a little girl and they're like just turning two i think or just one so we got her like a really cute um disney princess activity set uh for like just their little gift and so i need to throw that in here i have a couple of other items on this side and then we'll zip her on up Okay. okay, so I'm going to also bring my Sony Clover backpack with me on the plane. So I'll put my luggage up in like the top bin. I'm not going to bring my duffel this time. I am just going to bring my backpack. And so I'm not totally sure what I'm going to put in here. I'm going to have my laptop, but I won't pack that until Wednesday morning. Uh, but in this front pocket, I always like to put a small pouch so in this small pouch in particular I have my gum I will leave this link down below it's for your phone on the plane it's really helpful I have a liquid IV some chapstick some chapstick and a, a reusable straw so I have that in here so that will just fit nicely in this front pocket and then I also then I have my cute little lipstick container. I'll throw that in here. Phone charger will go in here. All that will go in this front pouch. I also will normally like throw my sunglasses, um, passport. Passport needs to go in here as well. So I will just take this and I'll put it in the back for now i probably will end up throwing it in my fanny pack once i transition that one over but it is really cute and i really do love the red so this is the ruby backpack and i have my initials in 
um, the red with the varsity glitter. And so it is just super cute. I really love this one. Okay. Here's my Tiana small pouch. And so for this one, I am going to put my eye mask. This is in Dynamic Duo. It is silk. I absolutely love it. And then I also have, and I will link this down below. I actually just got it. It is a lint roller, but it is for travel. And so it is very handy. And I'm really excited to have one of these to take with me because I always feel like I need one. And then I just never bring one. So got a little one that I can always keep in here. And then I also have my little jewelry box. So I showed this in my last haul video, but I got it in the Japan store and it just pops up and you stick your, you stick your jewel, jewelry right in there. Um, so I'm going to use this for like my rings and different things like that overnight. And so I am really excited to take this with me for the first time. So I got this a couple years ago from Sunglass Hut in Disney Springs. It is just like a Glens cleaner and this is refillable. I honestly don't think I've gotten it refilled um, ever yet, but I just always like to have that. Some medicine, I will, so I will throw that in there. And so I think that's it for this. All right, so we can zipper her up and I'm not sure. So on that other side of my suitcase, I'm gonna have to have like my personal computer and then my backpack will have my work computer. So I am working Wednesday. We have a nonstop flight and it just like, honestly, it saves me a PTO day. I am able to work remotely. And so I just like buy internet on Southwest. I did this during my last trip and it worked great. The only thing is you can, you when you buy internet it's per device so just make sure i bought it on my phone last time but i wanted to buy it on my computer i can obviously like, work from my phone so it's totally fine but just know that it's per device not like per account as like a user so this next time around i'm gonna buy it on my computer and will be golden so that computer will be in my backpack my personal computer where i like upload all of like my content from the trip and where I can edit my videos that is going to go on that computer will go into my suitcase so I do have TSA pre-check now I have only used it technically twice and I cannot tell you how wonderful it is I'm thinking of doing like a video about TSA pre-check and just like traveling so let me know in the comments down below if that's something that interests you but not having to like worry about taking my shoes off, not worrying about like having to take out my laptop, huge game changer, huge game changer. So I am also bringing my cruise tote and I do need to go clean it from our last cruise, but I actually ended up carrying this on on the way home and I really liked that. So I bought too many fun souvenirs and so i'm gonna pack this uh, i'll take this to castaway key with us um just around the ship if i need a bag so i'm gonna go spot clean this but it's really nice because it folds very nicely if i can do it with one hand but hold it down with my knee there we go but yeah so it folds like super nice and i can just like stick it in my suitcase i could even like stick it in this front pocket or just like in between them so going to take this with me but i am going to carry on my backpack I mean it couldn't have worked out better so i actually just got a stony clover order <laughs> delivered to me and i got my medium insulated pouch so we're gonna work through this together and see if it fits into my snacks pouch or if i need to have them separately so let's dive in so in the past if you've watched my packing videos you know that i normally have all of my items just in a large pouch and then i have like a small for my makeup however for the cruise i've last time i was like oh i wish i had my hanging thing and so i am going to use this um this time so i don't even know when i got this probably in high school it's just a vera bradley 
um, like hanger. I don't know, but it's really nice. I can put all my items in here. So now the tricky thing is now I'm gonna have to transfer everything over into this. So that's what we're gonna do now. So I think I have everything. Please remind me that I need to reorganize this. It's kind of a mess. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I have everything in here that I need. I still think I'm gonna bring this uh, small pouch just with like a couple of like extra little items that I normally like throw on top. And then I do need to clean out my makeup bag again. And then I use a travel for all of my skincare. So other than that, I think we're good. Probably I'm going to stop here or go ahead and throw this in my suitcase. Yeah, I'll probably do that. And then we'll be done for the day, most likely. I probably will come back and put like my little in here. I don't need for the rest of the week. Um, so yeah, I work from home. And honestly, like the only time I ever put makeup on is if like we're going somewhere or if I'm gonna film. And sometimes when I film, I don't even put makeup on. Check out my last pack with me video. That was no makeup. Uh, so I could totally like pack all of that uh, today or tomorrow and be totally fine. But yeah, so we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot, we're in a good spot. Okay, we're back. It's been a few days, so it is Tuesday, May 2nd, and we leave tomorrow. I am so excited. Uh, just took a shower, obviously, hair is wet. And I weighed my suitcase earlier, and it was at 51 pounds. And I was thinking that I probably am overpacking, like always. But we are going to go through my clothes just one more time. Normally I don't put my clothes in packing cubes until like tonight, but I didn't know how busy I was gonna be, or like today I should say. But I didn't know how busy I was gonna be today. And I am happy that like everything was just put away for a couple days, no big deal. So I'm just gonna go through like my shorts and stuff one more time because I know I'm bringing more than I actually need. Do you hear her? There's the baby. Hello, my love. Hello, how's it going? Did you hear me talking? So, no, no, no. So I'm gonna do that. My carry-on is pretty much ready to go. I just need to grab my computer, but I'll do that in the morning, um, cause I'll work for a couple hours in the morning before we head out, and then I'm gonna work <laughs> on the flight. Um, can, excuse me. Thank you. 
Uh, I actually have the exact same flight that I took uh, a couple weeks ago. And so I have my lunch packed and everything is ready to go downstairs. My vitamins, my snack bag is ready to go. I have my backpack pretty much ready to go. I'll just throw my snack bag and then my fanny pack in there tomorrow as well. So we're gonna go through the big suitcase we're gonna go through the big suitcase, get some things taken out of there, and then put those away. Weigh everything out, and then I think we're ready to go. Let's give it a try. Send good vibes. Hey, you're fine. Why are we being drama? As you're cleaning, I feel like is the most effective way for me to do it if I, you know, want to keep on top of it. I, I feel like I don't keep on top of anything in yeah, my life. You're fine. But I do my best, and that's really all I can do. Mm -hmm. yeah, especially in this busy season of life that I'm living in. Speaking of cleaning, wow, that needs to happen every day, right? I still have my Easter stuff up slash spring stuff. I guess it's still spring. Being dramatic. It's whatever. Even the Being dramatic over here. Huh? Why, why are you being dramatic? Do you need me to rub your belly? Are you, are you finished? Can I go back to my packing? Yeah? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You're not done. Are you just the cutest little girl? You are. Casey's the cutest girl. Okay, now we're done. guys so I weighed my suitcase and I do that with the travel smart by Con Air luggage weigher and I cannot tell you how much this thing is like means to me I know I know that's like kind of weird all right you guys so just weighed my luggage and we are under 50 pounds. I am so excited. So I normally, um, I normally don't take my blow dryer with me. I was going to this trip. I couldn't remember if I used the one on the ship last time. I think I did, but I took that out and I even added some other stuff, took some other clothes out. There were two dresses I was trying to decide. I have a meeting I have to go to, um, with my travel agent group on Thursday. And so, I had two dresses I was gonna pick from. I just decided now, look at me, I know. But weighing my suitcase. So I use uh, the Travel Smart by Conair. I'll leave this linked in the description down below. I just got it from Target. I think I've had it for about two years now, if not a little bit longer. And I've only had to replace the battery one time. And I will say, 
when I first got it, I didn't really know how to shut it off. Now I do. So the battery might last even longer, but it is amazing. So it just will show the weight right there. And I would say it is pretty accurate. It's probably like a couple of ounces off, but I just make sure that it shows under 50 and I've never had an issue. It just is so much like stress relief when I know I'm going into the airport and my bag is not gonna be over 50 pounds. <laughs> I like back in the day, I remember I was going on a trip with my grandma to France for my graduation and I was the one in the middle of the airport like putting stuff in the different suitcases uh, to make sure like my big one was under 50. So don't be that person. Just go ahead and buy the wear you will not regret it i think it's only like 20 bucks or something 100 percent worth it and make sure you bring it with you on your trip too so just don't leave it at home make sure you bring it with you because then when you're leaving and you have all of your fun items that you purchased you can weigh your suitcases again so whenever we go on trip with friends or anything they always end up using this too it's just it's super nice jackson uses it I'm sure my mom will use it um, going home, but it is just super nice. Just have that little peace of mind to know like, okay, my suitcase is gonna be under 50 pounds and I don't just, that's like one last thing you have to stress about when you're on your travel day. So the last thing I need to do is I just need to close up my carry on. I'm gonna go through that one more time too, just to make sure I'm not bringing, it's so hard because we're not really having a park day. I'm not sure if I've already talked about this in this video, but we're going to an event Thursday night um, that's in Epcot and it's at night. So like I don't need any of my park stuff. And then that's pretty much it, that's pretty much it because then Friday we get on our transportation to go to the port and then we'll be on the ship and then we will uh, go visit my grandparents for a couple days and then we're coming home. So it is fairly a quick trip if you think about it. And I think I'm bringing more things than I actually need. So we're going to go through my carry on one more time. I do have our gifts. So like that whole like side of my suitcase won't be full anymore. And then what else is in there? I don't even remember what I packed. But yeah, we're gonna go through that just to make sure I'm not bringing anything that I don't need. And then we're gonna take everything downstairs. I have my snack bag. Probably grab my computer um, just and take it downstairs and work from the dining room tomorrow or the couch for a little bit. But other than that, we're ready to go on the Disney Wish. I am so excited. I'm really excited to go with my mom I was trying to think if we've ever gone like just on a trip together, her and I, uh, besides like something for volleyball. And I don't think we really have. My dad or my, or Jackson would always come. So I'm really excited just to be able to go and experience this with her. This will be her first time on the Disney Wish. And yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited that uh, we were able to do this for her and this was her Christmas present, so I'm super pumped, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Girls trip. That's gonna be it for today's Packing With Me video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me while I prepped and got ready for our Disney cruise. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because I have lots of fun vlogs headed your way from our Disney Wish cruise. I am so excited, I cannot wait. I always say this, I feel like at the end of these videos, but fingers crossed that I remember to do a travel day vlog. Yeah, hopefully, maybe, we'll see. Um, but anyways, make sure you guys comment down below if you've been on the Disney Wish. If so, what dinner was your favorite? Our last time, 1923, was our favorite, so I am very excited to be able to experience that again. But I hope you guys have a magical rest of your day, and I will see you real soon. Bye!